Has this ever happened to you? Many of us have been there. That feeling of finally being done carving out all the intricate details. And, to save a little time, just pulled out that can of black spray paint and covered our foam. And, that sinking feeling of coming back to some shriveled deformity of nada. Well, today, I'm going to be showing you three or more paints that you can spray your foam with, why spray paint melts foam, and the pros and cons of spray painting your foam projects. If you enjoy a mix of crafting and games like D&D or Warhammer, then subscribe to the channel for weekly inspiration, and now, let's keep this short and get into the video. Why does spray paint melt foam? As you can see, acetone has a chemical reaction to the foam that causes it to melt. I don't know the exact science behind this, I just know that it causes this reaction. And though there are some uses for this chemical reaction, for this video we are focused on preventing the foam from melting. So when it comes down to it, many 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 spray cans use acetone to prevent clogging. From what I understand, pretty much every spray has some amount of acetone in the mix, regardless, I've discovered three paints that will not melt foam no matter how close you spray. And those are as follows. Paint 1. Iron Lac Sugar Coat. Please note that with all these paints, you will need to purchase the exact type of paint. For instance, with Iron Lac brand, they have their basic Iron Lac spray paints and they have their Iron Lac Sugar Coat. Only the Iron Lac Sugar Coat won't melt the foam. And as you can see, when I spray the sugar coat on the foam, it doesn't melt. This was the first paint that I discovered that doesn't melt foam. I was just browsing around the hobby store a few years back and noticed it on clearance. I read the story on the back of the can and it said something about it being low odor and better for the environment. That made me wonder, maybe it wouldn't melt foam. And well, it definitely didn't melt foam. I thought I'd discovered something grand, so I took to YouTube to see if anyone else had made this discovery. And that led to the next paint. Paint number two, Liquitex Spray Paints. There was a short and sweet video I found of a guy spraying Liquitex spray paint on some foam and it not melting. So of course I had to buy some. And though while I love the vibrant colors provided by Iron Lac, they were not typical colors and that was kind of confusing. Also, their supplies seemed to be dwindling, so I started buying mainly Liquitex. Paint 3. Montana Water-Based Then recently, after doing some more in-depth research, I purchased another brand of paint, Montana Water-Based, and guess what? It doesn't melt foam either. Now we were on to something. Montana has a great range of paint as well, and is strongly valued among graffiti artists and whatnot. The little can I have here is part of a three pack of black, gray, and white. I figured that was perfect for miniature painting, and so far I'm really liking this paint as well. Oh, and they also have this huge paint set. I don't know how many it is. Maybe 12 small cans. You can just kind of sample and it's different colors, so I would definitely check that out because you can get some interesting effects with spray painting. Okay, and now my little bonus. So paint four or more. Here's a little list of other paints that most likely will not melt foam. Take heed that I haven't personally tried any of these following paints. So, paint 4 would be Pinty Plus Aqua. I have seen a video of someone spraying this paint onto foam and it not melting. And this is probably the next one on my list to get and test out. So when I do that I'll go ahead and throw it up on a video. Anyway, there's another paint I have a hunch about, and that's Evolve Agua. I can't find much about this spray paint, it's just one I found on Amazon under the water-based spray paints, but I'm thinking it should be similar to the rest. And then I was also reading on a message board somewhere that Krylon has one that won't melt foam, but I've always experienced melting with Krylon. From what I can tell, their marker paint is water-based paint, and it only comes in bright colors. I'm assuming it doesn't last long either, because that's just for temporarily marking things for construction and whatnot, from what I understand. And I'm not a construction worker, so don't judge if I'm wrong about that. Now the question, why don't these paints melt foam? Well, because they're water-based or solventless. And I say that in quotations because at least that's how they're advertised. I've actually read that these paints actually do have a small amount of solvent or acetone in the mix, but it is such a small amount that it dissolves almost instantaneously. And, in my opinion, this is pretty dang interesting stuff. 
why would you want to spray a foam project? Being able to spray foam like this gives us so many more possibilities to work with. Spraying a detailed piece will prevent sloppy brush strokes of thick paint from getting all over our really small details. It dries to the touch a lot faster than a mix of black paint and Mod Podge. This is also ideal if you have a project that is a mix of plastic and foam, because it will stick to plastic a lot better than many hand painted undercoats. And I understand that if you spray paint from a distance and just kind of mist it on foam, that it won't melt the foam, but these paints you can literally spray like half an inch away and it won't melt the foam. Just drizzle it on. And I really like that because then I don't have to be so careful. And from what I can tell so far, all these paints have a really high pigment. And I really value that as an artist. If you want some quick links to some of these products, check out the description below. And now, if you enjoy a mix of crafting in games like Dungeons & Dragons or Warhammer, then you can continue the journey by clicking on one of the two links I've handpicked for you on the screen right now.